Just a quick one guys before we get into today's video, we have released our July drop, we have the Liverpool Originals t-shirts, along with the We've Conquered All of Europe t-shirts. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, we're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the summer transfer window, so if you haven't already hit the big red button, please consider doing so, and in return we'll keep you on the straight and narrow with everything with regards to Liverpool Football Club this summer. Guys, I'm still on holiday, so sorry for the background, sorry for the chilled out look if you like, um, I will be back very, very soon. And on, upon my return, we do have a brand new background to be in place. I've just had a image from or the video from the developer. It looks really, really good. So I'm so excited to share that with you when I'm back. Um, we're really going to take the channel to a different level uh, and look a bit more professional. Um, but anyway, guys, in today, as I said, we're going to keep on rolling the news out today. We've got some massive little transfer news with regards to an incoming and an outgoing. We're also going to be going through Singapore tours. Liverpool, of course, have just uh, landed there. Uh, we're going to be discussing the sort of state of play, the players that are involved, and of course the teams that Liverpool are playing. With regards to major updates, with regards to a few other bits and pieces in the Liverpool space, we've also got a Sadio Mane update for you as well. So quite a few bits and pieces to discuss. But let's start with Singapore. Of course, Liverpool landed in Singapore uh, a few hours ago, and of course are set to take on Leicester City and Bayern Munich, a part of pre-season preparations. Game number three and game number four. And we should naturally start to see the intensity go up, the opposition get a lot better from the teams that Liverpool have been playing previously. Uh, and then, of course, things start to get kind of real. Um, and this is start, not take pre-season serious, if you like. It's still pre-season. It's still time to implement and experiment. Uh, but certainly a time where we can start to see something uh, maybe a bit more concrete with the system that we're going to see in that first game against Chelsea in literally... Uh, just over two weeks' time. Um, now, in terms of the actual overall squad going out there, there was obviously announcements on who was going out there, but there was, of course, some notable absentees. Of course, Thiago and Bisesic, and basically Paul Joyce has confirmed that both of those players are staying behind to continue their rehabilitation. Look, Thiago is back playing with the ball at his feet. However, he still does have a little bit way to go until he can resume sort of full training and play matches, uh, but he is making great strides strides and great progress to be there. Same with Bisesic, but they're staying on Merseyside to continue their rehabilitation and it is being said that they should be available or should start to be integrated within the first team training again once they come back. So very, very exciting stuff there with regards to those two because they, I think, are going to be playing key parts this season, especially Thiago with, of course, Fabinho and Henderson going out of the door. Now, moving on to the sort of transfer news saga, guys, we have got an update from Fruitsu Romano with regards to Fabinho. Now, Fabinho has been a well-documented saga over the last couple of weeks. He was going, he was he was staying, he was going, he was staying, and there was loads of twists and turns. However, the latest we do have on that one for you today is from Fabrizio Romano just a couple of hours ago, and he said that Al Itahad and Liverpool are closing in on the Fabinho deal. Agreement on Verge being completed, Liverpool are still cautious and are checking documents, but it's very, very close. Um, again, I think we've uh, it's been expected that, of course, Fubinio is going to be going out the door very, very soon. Um, so the quicker that one is concluded, the better, as then Liverpool, in a return, could then start bringing in players into the midfield and defence and bolster ahead of that first game against Chelsea. But as I said, the latest with regards to Fabinho, it is pretty much, very much done. Liverpool just going through, still cautious on the, the check in the documents. But as I said, both teams have agreed a fee and all the rest of it. And it seems, as I said, say Al Itahad's problems that they had last week with regards to registering players is now gone and it should be a plain sailing from here on out and Liverpool should get their money and Fabinho should get his move. Now moving on to the sort of incomings I said yesterday that do expect a second bid for Romeo Lavia and that has been the case. Reports are stating that the club have submitted a second bid for the player. Uh, this is a lot closer to Southampton's valuation of £50 million however is still below. Liverpool are very confident that this deal will be done. Personal terms have been agreed. Uh, they just need to iron out a few things with the sort of transfer fee itself. But it does look like it is very, very, very close. And as I said, um, Romeo Lavia to Liverpool is 
is, is very, very close and it is should be imminent. He will be Liverpool's number sign, signing number three of the summer transfer window. Second bid submitted after the first one was initially rejected. However, Liverpool have improved terms. Jürgen Klopp really wants the player. And as I said, Romeo Labia is aware of the situation. He has agreed personal terms. He wants to go to Liverpool over the other potential teams that were also in the race. It was said that Chelsea were the closest and Arsenal also held interest. But it's Liverpool by far and out favourites to land the player signature this summer now another update I have for you as well um, with regards to Romeo Lavia as I said Lavia's family also want the move to happen to, to Liverpool so as I said Chelsea are still there but Liverpool definitely leading the race for his signature and as I said I do think this will be an imminent signing he will be signing number three this summer transfer window uh, but that's all I've really got for you today on the transfer front um, again, a bit of news, big news indeed. Of course, Fabinho very, very close now to leaving and getting out the door. And of course, Romeo Lavia's second bid has been submitted. And as I said, uh, Liverpool and the player are confident that a move is going to happen imminently. And, and then, as I said, it's starting to move on to other transfer targets this summer for Liverpool. As I've said so many times, centre-back is needed, very much so. And I do think another midfielder is needed as well. Um, with regards to centre back potential targets, still been very, very quiet. In terms of other midfield targets, again, very, very quiet. We're just going to have to wait and be patient. But I think we'll start to see things moving a bit more after Lavia's deal is done. As I said, he will be likely in the door. They do report that he will likely fly out to Singapore and be a part of the tour because they're that confident that a deal will be done in time. So as I said, hopefully the next video I'm making is stating that the Romeo Lavia deal is done and he will be Liverpool's third signing. And then, we, as I said, we can look towards firstly and get excited for the head of the Premier League season, but also look towards um, other transfer targets because, as I said, the club are still going to be pursuing other players in other positions, whether that, be, uh, that being a centre-back and another midfielder. From the last three friendly games that I've been watching, Liverpool look really, really good at, foot, at the front, but very, very nervous at the back. So, yeah, a centre-back is a priority. And as I said, I think another defensive midfielder will do us no harm. Uh, but that's all I've really got for you today, Liverpool fans. Um, again, uh, Liverpool in Singapore, Leicester City, Bayern Munich uh, set to play. Fabinho should be out the door in the next couple of days. Romeo Lavio should be in in the next couple couple of days um, and as I said that's really it do let me know your thoughts on the imminent signing of Romeo Lavia and as I said do let me know your thoughts on other potential targets give me some names which centre back would you like and which defensive midfielder would you like let me know down there in the comment section below that brings us to the end of today's video as always please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content remember we do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com thank you I'll see you all next time Take care. Peace.